Today's workout, today's workout. First of all, it was two days in one because yesterday was Monday and I didn't bring my ass here at all. I was like, no, I'm okay. <laughs> so today was leg day and back and bicep day and uh, yeah, that's all I gotta say about that. I'm just like, anyway, it'll be a good day. I'll probably be exhausted by seven. Um, I'm all day in office and then I'm meeting my friend Pam, take her for birthday drinks, a little meal or whatever. Um, at a new spot, so that'll be exciting, but child, I don't know what I to say is, what? I'm not even gonna bother showing all my abs that I know I see, I know I see. They're just a bit hidden right now under the pizza and burgers and everything I eat all for the week. <laughs> You. And just one egg. <laughs> yeah, your eggs are too big. Just one. Okay, you guys know we're on a healthy kick. So, as much as I would love fish, a paneer, masala, and everything, we're just gonna have bacon. We are working. I love to see it. So it's branded tankery now. It's before anyone has started and it's opened or anything like that. But there's gonna be a photo booth there. And then this side, DJ booth. Love to see when things finally come into fruition. Yeah. <laughs> Finishes my work day. It's my happy dance. <laughs> I'm about to go meet up with Pam. I always forget, especially if I haven't seen someone in a long time, I always forget to vlog, always. But I also need to um, take videos for Bachazi. So I'm hoping, no, not hoping. I know I'm going early intentionally to take videos of that. So if I don't show you Pam, at least I'll show you Savannah. <laughs> it looks super cute based on the Instagram videos and pictures. Um, it looks super, super cute. So I'm hoping by the time we get there, like, I don't know, I hope it's not the same thing of the place looks nice and the service is questionable and you're like, mm, or you go and it's like only a little bit that looks nice. Like they did a good job of taking pictures on the tables, but then when you get there, the bathroom's trash, this is trash. Like I hope it's a 360 experience, 360. My safe car's taking a while to get up the, not up the hill, but down Kira Road. So I'm a bit scared there's jam. I'm purposely going early so I can film and video the things for Bachazi. So let's hope. So as you can see, I'm back home. I'm actually not at Savannah. Fortunately, my friend Pam had to reschedule till Thursday, so I'm home now. I'm trying to figure out food, shower, ETC, cause I feel gross, I'm tired. <sighs> <sighs> anyway, today was a really great productive day, so I have zero complaints. Um, I just wanna like get the dust of Kampala and my Uber off of me and um, get comfy. Eating Kabbalah la. oh man. This bangs with tea, but I'm too lazy to frost milk and wait for all of that. We need to eat now. So, good. Oh! Mm. 
Hey guys, happy Wednesday. See at the grocery store. I just met up with my cousin Philip at Cafe Siri. Um, we just were chatting about a couple of things I wanted his feedback about or input or whatever. Now I'm at TMT Supermarket. It's a new supermarket in Bukoto. So let me just stop here, grab some things. But you know when you go to every supermarket is so different. Um, even the ones that are chains, sometimes they just what they offer is different. So I'm trying to understand where I can find all the things I need. One thing I've been looking for is granola. I don't know why I haven't been able to find it. Maybe I should just take on having muesli. I like muesli with milk warmed up like a baby. <laughs> I'm a giant baby, if you guys didn't know by now. So I think there's this granola, but I don't know. The brand, Bokomo. Granola, where's this from? Start there. I have no idea. Made in, oh, South Africa. Nutsy Crunch, African Sunrise, the currants and coconut, currants. Oh, there's currants and everything. Hmm, I'm out of coconut. Nuts and seeds. I don't know. I want to try this brand, to be honest with you, because I have no idea what they are <laughs> at all. Yeah, I'm a bit confused. <laughs> Slightly confused, can't even lie. So here are all the options. There's a lot of moose leaves. Uh, these are granolas. I don't know what fitness granola is. Maybe it has protein, increase of protein. What languages are these? Also made in, no idea, CZ. Somewhere in Europe, I guess. There's a lot of those, but the thing is when you find something, then you're like, oh, I like this brand, I'm gonna stick with it, and you never see it again, that's why. I'm here stuck on granola. Anyway, I got basic things. We need milk to freeze, pasta, ketchup. Hey, this is a supermarket generally. I think I'm done. But I wanna guess. Just finished doing my makeup. There I am. <laughs> uh, I have a lot of filming to do today and different places to go. I'm going to remember to bring you guys along. So let me not announce it let me just bring you guys so right now i'm gonna film stuff at home i need to do two sit down videos at least uh so that i'm still ahead of the game because i have one for this sunday coming up but if i film and then edit this week then both of them then i'll have for two more weeks which is great yeah just so happy and proud of my youtube right now the consistency just everyone showing up and showing out. The share is increasing. Like, I'm so happy. I love y'all. And I just want to keep showing up on here. I feel like I, I, I was spending so much time showing up on Instagram and it just wasn't working for me. I had a video that went viral, which was really dope, but it was a travel one. So I'm like, it's not even what I'm currently doing. And if you know how social media works and algorithms and all of that, it's best when it's something that content that you consistently post so that people like, you know, get into all of it. Like they keep watching and keep watching and keep watching. But if a travel video goes viral, which I'm grateful for nonetheless, they're looking for more of that fun, airy content. That's not my day-to-day -day reality right now. So yeah. Ooh, the sun is hitting nice. The windows in my apartment are all tinted yellowish. So when I open them, it's just a natural sun and it makes such a difference. Do you guys see? Like normally when I'm vlogging in here, it's like casty and whatever, but it helps with the heat. Like it's been so hot. <gasps> I couldn't sleep last night. I kept tossing, turning. It was just so freaking hot. So the yellow, I think um, is, a, what's it called? deflector reflect deflecting the sun light and then it's a lot cooler in my apartment so yes if i had white bright window to hold, uh, floor to ceiling windows and all of that it would be beautiful and amazing uh but the heat <laughs> as we know you need ac in your unit um are we working towards that girl we're working towards that anyway let me get to planning i am currently addicted to this series i'm on episode four part four uh <laughs> TikTok of who the F did I marry? If you rest that Tessa, I'll put it up here. You guys go find. I am, everyone's been talking about it. She posted the first one like six days ago. So we are knee deep in her pathological liar ex-husband. But yeah, I'm only on part six of like 55. So I've been playing it as I was doing my makeup. I'm gonna play it as I figure out what I'm gonna record. Um, and yeah, I wanna finish and see. Cause if you think about it, that's a movie. It's a movie. And she's just driving and talking about it. Part one, part two, part three. <laughs> I love the internet. <laughs>
finished filming on the way to where are we going? Muyanga. <laughs> You're so funny with the camera. <laughs> They've got so we're at the rock climbing place. Look at that rock. It looks so cool. I'm gonna go inside and inquire about paying a climb to Golden Hill and so far. Wow, it's really nice. So all these levels are restaurant. Oh my god. Interesting. Um Top. I think this look beautiful at night too, but it's so nice right now. Let me go properly. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. We ordered wine, sangria, and pizza, but not to mention the wine, the sangria. First of all, I put ice before it was up to here. I was like, what did you make me? And it doesn't even taste, I'm sorry, it doesn't taste cold, it was warm. Anyway, we got the bacon and salami. Find out more on our Bichazi page. So quick one second review. Cocktail, okay, not that I had many cocktails or that is Cocktails, was I sangria? Um, no, not happening, even the wine, the wine wasn't good, huh? Nah. So, <laughs> the pizza has slapped though. I'd come back for this, for sure. Or just order it to my house and enjoy my drink. Hmm? Oh, I thought you were saying something. <laughs> but, so yeah, but the view is so dope. Or you just come here and enjoy the view, eat your pizza and drink water and tea or something bottled and then you'll be here walking by that's also an option
little bit of an update. Um, I, sorry, I've talked to my camera, don't worry. <laughs> um, is the reflection? Okay. So a bit of an update. I've just been in meetings all day and like putting out a schedule. And yeah, it's Friday, which is good. I feel like I'm gonna actually talk to you guys in a few days. It's just been like showing you guys updates. Um, I'll rant about my frustrations later from the other day, which is good. I didn't come on here with bad energy, but yeah. I don't feel a hundred myself a bit off and under the weather. Ooh, jam. But yeah, sorry, what was I saying? So sitting here, I might as well. So the other day, first of all, I went to go buy only products. I went to go buy OB tampons. And for a box of 40, they told me it was 100K for something. That's typically $7. I was like, okay, even if they were 40, I would have paid that double. Whatever, maybe, but I was like, 100K? Are you on crack cocaine? Like, yeah, you know, they're not really available. So I'm like, so you're taking that moment at their time of the month because it's not available anyway i was so livid it was frame supermarket i'm gonna throw it out there because i was just like kind of ghetto but it's a supermarket that's 24 hours so it's convenient but still i was just like you know this is this is not even highway robbery this is just offensive <laughs> it's just straight up offensive then what happened to me the other oh and then my issue is safe boda um being frauded twice on my account went through Stanbic, they haven't been able to help me now that I have an affluent banking account though I've left it with the account manager I was like, I'm submitting everything you need here it is, sort it out that's what I'm paying for, it, so I'm so happy so hopefully it gets sorted because okay, it's not a lot of money, but I'm like the fact that someone can go on my account and still take money is very frightening, because what if it's a thousand dollars you know um, that would piss me off really badly so that, I was livid I no longer use them, I will never stand by them I'm never going to promote them, and I was one of the number one customers because i was using it so frequently they call me but we well, added money to your account because you're so great um i'm winning because i overused them last valentine's day i think i showed you guys that i will never use safe Boda, safe car again safe Boda for deliveries and stuff fine if it's cash but it's convenient but actually using safe car to take my body from point to point b they can kiss my period like it's never happening it's gems a lot. So this is my little updates for the last couple of days. Oh, didn't go rock climbing because my assistant, oh, we got the wrong day. So she has to like schedule, like, you have to call in events and make sure like they're available. It's out of campus, so it makes a lot more sense why it was a thing. Um, so I showed you guys getting ready to go. I even shot a real film, I got ready with me and nothing. So, that was a bit of a fail and then there was something else we were supposed to do. Oh, we were supposed to meet Pam, but then she had a family emergency so it wasn't able to meet. So that's a bit of an update the last two days. I've been just cramps killing that. I'm just here like, I just need to sleep. I'm almost so exhausted. It's Friday. I'm meeting my uncle right now who came from the UK. Uh, so we're going to meet him shortly and then my friends as well. They just messaged me on my way home to meet my uncle luckily it's like they're right beside each other it's the same street so it's fine but um i have every intention to sleep i'm so tired like i'm so tired i know i can't i said i'd stop coming on here and complaining with you guys my low energy I'm, I'm tired i'm tired i'm tired that's the reality it's the reality um but it's an eventful weekend so let's see if i go to do everything that's eventful about it and see what happens <laughs> I'm gonna watch YouTube catch up on online vlogs that I haven't watched of all the chicas that I love. I'm eating my leftover in um, injera from the other day when we we're at band with Pauline and Pauline's mom. That was so much fun. Actually, today we're going for lunch. I believe I just don't know what time and when. Or sorry, what time and where? And 
they never keep time so i'm like i got all morning and pretty much most of the afternoon because i know lunch gonna be at like four <laughs> <laughs> and then I have so many leftovers. I'm so happy. Like this is a weekend of relaxing, good vibes, good energy, all of that. Your girl was exhausted yesterday. Uh, I left you guys at Emmanuel's birthday. So our friend Emmanuel was celebrating his birthday. There's a bunch of us with their cake, like my tattoo. It's a good vibe, but I was dying, like cramps, everything. Cramps, back pain. I had like two pillows propping me. They were all just like looking at me. I was like, I gotta go. I'm like, feel better, feel better, feel better. I'm like, thank you. Yeah, today it's not as bad, but I'm starving. So I'm gonna eat this as I enjoy my shows and then we'll go get ready in a few hours to go out to, yeah, hang out with fam. So we're starting off with Lydia Dinga. I love her voice. Gotta love a wifey in her wifey era. Like, let's go, yes, girl. Guys, I have arrested. I'm now on meal number two, lunch number two. You know, it's like 5 p.m. Because <laughs> I know I'm going to eat later. I know I want to stop eating at 8, but I'm going to go meet Pauline um, and check on my team. Um, that they're, they're filming something somewhere. So. Because I'm doing that, I have a feeling, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. But I don't, I know I don't want to eat out, so I know that much. <laughs> anyway, I have rested, I've watched my vlogs, I finished a book. It is a nice Saturday, like this is really, really nice, really nice. Um, Could do this more often. <laughs> what, ta what city or country is it where they were announcing the four-day work week? I forget, but I saw it recently and I was like on to something <laughs> anyway, this is a big plate of food big let me eat it hope i don't have itis hurry up and get ready then go go find pauline hi guys so you're gonna be so proud of me we named the vlog it's not Feb 24 as it says there <laughs> and it was already uploaded so i was proud of myself regardless the vlog is up and it's gonna be live in an hour then tomorrow's kb's and chai episode number three is up and you know what i have to say while i'm waiting for my uber i am so happy like i love youtube i missed having conversations with you guys i miss just showing up and like just chatting with you like i don't think you guys get it like i appreciate it because i'm like you guys have written with me for a long time there's some of you from like the beginning there's some people with my move and most people it really has been because of my move and living in uganda and i'm just like i love showing my day today i love showing like what life is and the possibilities outside of what is generally like sold to you that Africa is. And I I like that so many people approach me and are like, hey, like I didn't even think it to be possible. You made it look realistic. But I'm like, it is, it is my reality. Like literally my reality. What you guys see is generally my reality. So it's very plausible to live here. And like so many of my friends are killing it, doing great things. And I love showcasing that. So I love to vlog. I love to have sit downs and chit chats and interviews and that. And I love even more that you guys love the content and you ride with me. So lately I've noticed as I've been more consistent with uploading, you guys have been showing up more as usual. Some of my old commenters too. And people like my rider dies are like, hey, you know, you've, uh, you've uploaded. And I'm like, <laughs> you know, you can get in your own head thinking you're crazy. Think, you know, no one's watching my content. Then it's so, I don't know, I was watching um, Aaliyah's face and she was mentioning like, it doesn't matter how many followers you have or whatever. Those people who view are taking their time out of the day to view you. Like, appreciate those people. I was like, that is so true. No, not even just that. Like, I needed a reminder. I already knew that. And that's why lately I've been showing up. And I'm like, I'm so glad this community is getting a breath of fresh air and reviving itself. And so those who love the vlogs and love seeing my life and like seeing how life is possible in Africa, where to get stuff, what to do, um whatever it is to keep you busy i love that then there's the ones who just love the conversations and um i just love that i'm i love what i do and i love when people also enjoy what i do and what i put out there so i'm grateful anyway everything is up and about mm, my uber's here actually they just messaged me let's go we're off i'm measuring tape in my bag if i did a what's in my bag <laughs> for a construction person's purse i used to go measure something for one of the hotels, like go check on the other hotel. 
and then go meet with Pauline. Let's go, you guys. I don't know. It's very hot lately, but you never know what's going on with this weather. So have a little throw because nighttime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Polly, you look so pretty. Hi so there. Sunday ready. My one friend. <laughs> I'm a judge. Hi. So a little bit of security strike. Nothing in there. <laughs> but lots of dollars. <laughs> Cute and airy. But I hadn't shown you tapas before in a proper setting. Here she is. Cute. Uh, cauliflower nuggets. Cauliflower nuggets. What is this corn? I like it. Like, it's a Monday. I unfortunately didn't make it to the gym. Um, I was tired, but like I didn't drink. I'm not drinking these days, so I don't know how I'm so exhausted, but clearly maybe understanding more it's not maybe the alcohol <laughs> just maybe this lack of sleep. But anyway, I'm heading to office. I just look so gray and blue. So weird. Anyway, <laughs> heading to office and um, I'll catch up with you guys there. Just give you a recap of the weekend. There we go, a little bit better. The weekend and um, everything, because I was so all over the place. <laughs> oh, that's so nice. Oh, so proud of you, Cindy. And then the coffee. I love it. Hey guys, so while I'm waiting for my Uber to take me home, I might as well, I was like, might as well update you guys. So I left you on Sunday. I didn't wrap it up because <laughs> It's been a weekend for a lot of fires I had to take out and things I had to do that I did not expect or anticipate. So what well, should have been a fun, a chill weekend of just a lot and really annoying. So now I, am, I just had to kind of like deal with all of that today. So it's been quite a long day, but it's over. Thank God. Uh, tomorrow is a new day, a new vlog, all of that. Yesterday, where was I yesterday? Oh, okay. So you guys saw me vlog about Kampala Style Brunch which is one of the events that we market for the hotel or at the hotel, sorry, that um, is, occurs here, but it's not our event, but it's like a partnership as a hotel. Anyway, whatever. So you guys saw me there. They rebranded 99, which looks beautiful, which I'll show you guys right now. Hard work paid off. I think I have to show it in the daytime. So there's the 99. Yeah, you can't see the 99. But it's so nice. Then our bar. Oh, so happy. Then our DJ booth. Oh, and it lights up, obviously. But so litty, so cute. So it's like all tankery and green and all of that. It's like really, really pretty. And we have the number one rooftop bar in Kampala. So come check it out. And um, see all of like our work in fruition. All the hard work <laughs> finally paying off. 
for certain things. So Kambala style brunch obviously was decorated because it was a brunch, but the regular setup, it still looks really pretty. And I'm really proud of the team, how everything turned out. Then what else? Okay, you guys saw me sending off my aunt. We had a family lunch. That was before the brunch though which was really cute. It was just really funny and a good time and good energy and stuff. And yeah, so it's been quite a packed weekend. It was not resting. I need to rest, um, but it is what it is. <laughs> I love my life. Life is good. I have no complaints. Just more sleep would be nice. And chilling, you know? You may not necessarily be sleeping, but just sitting there doing nothing is really nice. Like right now, me just sitting here vlogging, I'm like, great, I don't want to move. <laughs> if I could teleport <laughs> to my home, I would. <laughs> I really, really would. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in to another week of Life in Kampala. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video with your people who want to see fun things that happen or different things or whatever. I'm living life and transitioning and living here in a different city and country and all of the above. Um, but yeah, until next time, my loves, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.